Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Professor and Chair of Health Sciences at National University. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a syllabus using the custom syllabus tool available at National University's Blackboard system. So the first topic we want to discuss is what the syllabus tool looks like in Blackboard. So on the right here, I have my course open. And in the beginning of each course term, which I'm about to do now, I want to go in and I want to update my course syllabus, my course outline, and make a unifying document for the student. First thing you notice as I enter my course, I have my edit mode on so I can edit. And I go in my left-hand navigation and I navigate to the syllabus. What we have now is three different areas in this syllabus content area. You'll notice the first is a course outline. This is often placed by course leads like myself into the courses as a guide for faculty to run the course. There's actually a link to a virtual office. This is a discussion board thread. Um, I can move this if I want. Typically, I move it down to the bottom. It uh, doesn't really matter where I move it to because it will still show up in the big board or the discussion board. The first thing you notice is the confusion between what is a course outline and what is a syllabus. This has probably been a discussion faculty have had for many, many years. Each uh, discussion is different. If you look at other universities, so if you just Google or click on them, you'll see that, for example, Lethbridge University talks about a course line and syllabus. The words are often interchangeable. And our creditor, WASC, has a slightly different version of what a syllabus is. For our creditor, syllabus typically means the course must have a description in it, it must match the catalog description, it must allow students to see what the course learning outcomes are. Faculty often do that in their course outline, so these two things become often interchangeable. Syllabus, the way our university uses it, often goes back to the catalog definition. So if we go back to the course and look at this again, and I click on the syllabus, you'll see this description appear. Now ignore the right for a moment because I'm gonna show you how to create this area over here where you can put in a picture, a description, your contact information and email. But if you look at the syllabus, it looks pretty dry, right? It has the course description, the course learning outcomes, it has an attendance system. So really the syllabus reads like almost exactly our catalog. So example, here's the attendance guideline coming right from the catalog. So these descriptions tend to be very precise, which is what we want for students to have when they're entering our courses, especially for the first time. The problem becomes, how do I take the syllabus information? There's Title IX information here. There's accessibility services. It doesn't, at first, really seem to help the student navigate through the course. Where's my reading assignments? Where's the quizzes? Where's all the other stuff? So the syllabus that's built into our system is really contains most of the information required by our accreditors. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but we want to make a unifying document that will guide the students through the course. Notice that when I go back to the syllabus area, I can't hide the syllabus. It's not something that I can change. So if I'll go back to the course page and navigate to the syllabus area, I can't hide the syllabus. The course outline, however, can be edited, hidden, or deleted. So how do I unify these two? Well, what you can do is you can use what's called the Syllabus Builder. Now, many universities have this custom tool built into Blackboard. If I go to SUNY J JCC website, uh, their Blackboard tutorial has a different type of syllabus tool integrated into their system, and we have one as well. We can go and look at it here. So if we click on the syllabus area, you'll see that it has this terminology, but You'll see there's a student view here on the right and an instructor view on the left. And notice as I toggle between the two, there's things I can change. So if you scroll down, the first thing you want to do when you start your course is you can activate your account. Now what this will do is, it's already done it for me, once you have your account, it will pre-populate a lot of the things coming from your course outlines or coming from information you want to share with the students. And notice as I toggle over these, I can click on these and edit them. I can hide them. So in the syllabus tool, there are things I can control, but notice I can't change a lot of this stuff. I can't change the attendance policy. You notice that probability is spelled wrong here. So these course learning outcomes are coming right from the catalog. So I've got to send an email to someone to fix that in the catalog. But I can change some things with the syllabus tool. So first I click on activate my account. When I notice when I click there, the syllabus view changes in instructor mode. Now I can add content. Again, there's certain areas I can't change. I can't change that spelling mistake for probability. I can't change the National University attendance policy, 
but I can add different things to my syllabus. Here, what I can do is I can take the course outline, which if I go back to the syllabus area, you notice I had a course outline link. So if I click there, that's where I've loaded my Word document that you see here on the left that's populated. But back in the syllabus tool, I can now take that course outline, integrate it into the syllabus. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my course outline and then I'm gonna have a unified syllabus that contains all my course outline information, the academic freedom pieces as an instructor that I can control, which is due dates, certain uh, assignments that I want to assign to meet course objectives, tools I want to use, wikis, blogs, software. I can use those and deploy them in my class, and yet the syllabus will stay the same. The content that the students will get will be uniform. So my instructor information, I can edit here. I can put in instructor information, and I've done that over here. I can add the textbook information. I can click edit, edit content, and I can post the textbook information here. So if I scroll over to my course outline, I can go down to my text information and copy and paste and save changes. And as I populate these as well, so now my textbook is there, goes uniform with the course description, I got my course learning outcomes. Now here I can add all of my other outline information. So here it says add course outline information. This is where I'm gonna put all of the rest of my stuff, the required readings, supplemental readings, the due dates for assignments. I can put all this information in here just by copying and pasting. Click edit content and paste it and click save changes. Now you'll see that the syllabus is becoming an incorporation of my course outline. I have all the stuff in the syllabus that's there and I can add content as I go. And in the end, I can add any additional information that I want. So the beauty of this is once I'm finished, and again, all of these I can edit. So that's where I got my picture. You can upload that image or you can hide it. I can edit any of these. Once I'm done editing to check it, I can click now on the student face. This is almost like a clicking on the student preview. Now you see I have a uniform syllabus. It contains everything. It contains the required text information. It contains all of the required syllabus information coming from the university. And it's now one unifying document. Then what I do once this is complete, I can go back to the course shell, to the, that syllabus area. Now I can just click and delete, or what I'll probably do is just hide this one or make it unavailable to students. Now I've moved my virtual office down, link down here, but again, that's in my discussion board link anyway. And now if I enter student preview mode, which I know I've got that orange banner across the top, student preview brings me back to the home page. Now when I click on syllabus, you can see the course outline is hidden. The students have one click, they click on syllabus, and now they have a unified syllabus. Now here appears all my contact information on the right, my picture, and here's the course name, the required text, here's the course description, the course learning outcomes. Again, these are unchanged, the spelling error is still there. And then I have all of my stuff I've added from the course outline, which I control under academic freedom as a faculty member. And then all of the required information from the university is there, the Mass Center, the university general policies, code of conduct, Title IX, and so forth. What's really cool is the students, if I scroll back up, they can print this or they can save it as a PDF file. And now they have the course syllabus as a PDF. And now we have a unified syllabus with the course outline. Again, this is a short tutorial on how to use the syllabus tool in Blackboard to create a unified syllabus and course outline that your students can easily view.